Hello and welcome to the Mark 10 mission. We're so glad that you are here to encounter Jesus as we listen to his holy word, pray and worship him together. We are in the season of Easter and celebrating that Jesus is risen. In our gospel today, Jesus gives himself a special name, the Good Shepherd. Why is Jesus the Good Shepherd? Let's listen to his voice in the gospel and find out. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but gets in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice one by one. He calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger but run away from him. They do not recognise the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what it meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands, but the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hey everyone, it's wonderful to be with you today on the Mark 10 mission. I remember being at a party and I saw someone that I hadn't seen in years. Now we'd only met a few times, but they had made an impression on me and I could remember their words and some stories they told me. However, I wasn't sure that they would remember me and so I was a little hesitant to approach them. I stayed where I was and glanced across the room and then they looked at me and I'll never forget the huge smile that came across the person's face. They bounded over. Pippa, it's so good to see you again. That made me feel so loved and seen and known. There's something about when people remember your name, isn't there? It feels so personal. Calling someone by name can also show that you've chosen them. When you call someone by name, you are showing that it is them that you want to speak with. Today, we've heard a story from Jesus where he calls himself the Good Shepherd. Do you know what a shepherd does? A shepherd looks after sheep. In Jesus' time there were lots of shepherds and it was a difficult job. Shepherds had to watch and look after their sheep all the time. So why is Jesus the good shepherd? Who does he watch and look after? That's right, you and me. We are the sheep and Jesus the good shepherd knows us all by name. Jesus never forgets our name. Sometimes in life, it can be easy 
for us to compare ourselves to other people, to want to be like our friends, or to say things like, oh well, I'm not as good as her at sport, or he's much better than me at maths, or even, I prefer the way she looks, or I'd like to be like him. When we think like this, it is called comparison. And I think that comparison makes us feel sad. It makes us believe we are lesser and it steals our joy. Comparison could be referred to as a wolf. And Jesus, our good shepherd, does all he can to protect us from nasty wolves. He wants us to stop comparing ourselves to other people and to live in his love, which keeps us safe, knows us and delights in us personally, just as we are right now. So today I want to tell you, Jesus loves you. That's right, you. He calls you by your name and chooses you to be in friendship with him. He doesn't compare you to others. He loves you and will always protect you. We get to spend some time hearing God calling us by our name now in prayer. Shall we do that together? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd. You call me by my name, and I know your voice. I hear you calling my name now. What is it that you want to say to me? Thank you, Jesus, that you always lead and guide me. Thank you for being my good shepherd, the one who loves me and will never leave me. Let us say together, the words of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths as he has promised. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. Amen. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. One weight's peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one weight's peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one weight's peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. He is a shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. He is a shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love. Divine, and we are the branches, and his banner over me is love. He 
is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love his banner over me is love excellent let's try it a little bit faster shall we or maybe a lot a bit faster okay he brought me to his banqueting table He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is a shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. He is a shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. He is a shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Woo! Jesus, the Good Shepherd, loves you so much. And there are so many things that he loves about you. So your Mark 10 mission this week is to spend some time with Jesus, asking him what are the things that he loves personally about you. And then you can write these down in your book or your journal. Sometimes these aren't always the things that people instantly notice or admire. But Jesus has things to say to you. Ask him, what do you love about me, Jesus? Thank you for joining us on the Mark 10 mission. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, loves you so much and calls you by name. We have listened to his voice together and we pray that you will continue to encounter his love for you this week. See you next time.